What's up my retro video gaming friends and this Atari update is a little bit different because it didn't come from Atari themselves. Uh, so I was notified of this article last week um, and not from this particular source. I can't remember where the website it came from um, but I found this website here so and I did, con and it's confirmed that the information is real and accurate. So when the uh, this was posted in Discord under the VCS backers uh, last week, to which it raised some questions, and then also if you had seen this yourself somewhere, again it wasn't widely reported, at least that I could find, no place mainstream reported on it. Um, but the purpose of this video is to kind of clear the air because at least in my opinion, and I actually did talk to somebody from Atari about it today, um, and just said, look, it was a little bit, a little bit confusing on how it was worded. Uh, so just wanted some clarification on it. All right. So Atari reorganized its gaming division. So the question became then, well, what does that mean for the Atari VCS? So what we look into is the meat of the article um, goes into where they're, what they're doing is they are separating their game division from everything else, which is Atari token, cryptocurrency, whatever, I don't give a shit and Atari hotels again <laughs> I don't give a shit I don't know how it's gonna work and stuff like that but um, whatever they want to do so I guess it's good so on the one side it's good that they are kind of separating everything out um, now with that being said the way that this initially read to me was that Atari game the Atari gaming division is going to be separated into three divisions okay you're going to have Atari gaming Atari VCS and Atari uh, licensing um, so the way that it's worded is that with Atari gaming now this is what we need to focus on here so Atari will continue to operate and develop free-to-play mobile games in addition new development will be shifted to console and PC with an emphasis on revitalizing classic Atari intellectual property for the modern area or modern era that sounds a lot like what we were sold on for the Atari VCS, but there's no mention of the VCS there. So questions were raised on, okay, well, if Atari Games is going to create content and games for the current consoles out there, plus mobile and PC, why can't they just put it on the VCS as well? Because the VCS is split off onto its own thing. So regarding the VCS, which is what we want to focus here, all right, it says the VCS will uh, continue to support the console through meaning, like a meaningful third-party content and exclusive first-party content. The main takeaway is the word continue. That is very subjective because there hasn't been any first party. None of the games on the Atari system are actually Atari games made by them themselves. So there's nothing to continue as far as that goes. And then the meaningful third party, okay, that I can I can see because everything has been third party. Um, the conversation that we had in my last update um, with uh, the guy from Atari said there's some stuff in in the works and just kind of kind of again it was an uplifting conversation 
because of the fact that there had just been nothing for a long period of time. Um, but for the most part, it was still a lot of just wait and see. We got stuff coming. You just have to wait and see. Now, the final thing is the the licensing, which is no surprise. Atari's been a licensed whore for years. You can pay money to put their logo on anything. I don't think they have any standards or, or anything as far as that goes. So that's its own thing. No, no shock there. All right. So we had a con. I waited a week to get, see to hear um, a response from Atari to confirm. Um, basically, the questions that were asked were. Why is Atari Games developing games for everything but the VCS? Because according to this, the, the, the Atari Games and the Atari VCS are two different entities. They don't appear to be working together because there's no mention of them working together. So what we got back was that that's actually not the case. So, which is good, and now I said, okay, well, that's that's great that that's been clarified. It's just when you when you read it like this, that there's three divisions under Atari Gaming, and the two of the divisions don't are separate entities from each other. You can kind of see how, uh, okay, well, well, this doesn't seem right. Um, here, here's my post, and then there's the response. Um, where it's like, yeah, reread the PR, and I'm like, you know what? I've read it several times. I'm pretty sure I'm uh, the way I'm interpreting is kind of how it reads. Um, but then he, the guy, goes on to say that, yeah, it's it's off. It's just how it was worded. But it's the VCS and Atari Gaming are a big part of the gaming group. Okay, I I understand that, and it's really it's still doesn't uh, really fully answer the question. Uh, fear not, the platform will continue getting a lot of support going forward. Well, we kind of do have fears for the platform because it hasn't really had great support up until this point. Um, more unique first and third party games. Okay, now again, I go to the article where it says it will continue. Okay, well, you can't continue something that you've never done before. Um, so, more unique first. Okay, well, yeah. Well, you need a, a, a first, first party game. There's zero first party games. Um, and then, I guess, so, I guess that's in, in regards to the Atari gaming. So, I, Atari gaming platform I guess is going to support the VCS if I'm with the if I'm reading this correctly now somebody asked well would you are you willing to share um, how far all these for where are the basically uh, then it's asked where are these first party games not allowed to get specific but scheduled across 2021 and 2022 Right now, our biggest priority is getting more hardware into people's hands, which is all fine and dandy. You can get more hardware into people's hands, but then the people are going to have hardware that you really can't do anything with it. Um, the Atari operating system in the games library is is not good right now. Um, and I guess PC mode would be the only real way to go. So that at least clarified the article. The one thing that, the one takeaway so far from the VCS when asking about games, especially first party games, and Atari themselves have even kind of hinted to it, is that they don't know how to make their own games. So maybe the VCS aligning with Atari games will rectify that issue and we'll see a lot more content going forward. Uh, I think I would like to see more content than more systems. I mean, you, if you're going to launch, they want to launch this by the end of April. It's just, it's, it, can't, it can't do it with, 
with uh, with what it has now. It's going to get completely demolished in any kind of mainstream review. Um, so that would not be a good move until they can get some more software uh, under their belts. Some better software too, because there's some real stinkers on it um, on the store. Uh, a lot of get of these games tend to post on the store when they're not finished. It's like, ah, uh, we'll go ahead and throw it on there now, but we'll, it'll get finished later. Uh, but whatever. It is what it is, but if there was any confusion regarding this article, hopefully that cleared it up. Any more updates I get, I'll certainly pass along. So subscribe to this channel for Atari updates because as I get them, I am posting updates and I'm not shy about how I handle this stuff. Um, I've pushed Atari on this to, to get clarification and it came through uh, today with getting uh, the answer. So leave a like, subscribe, ask questions. You can hit me up on Instagram if you want to. I'm learning that and, and posting stuff there. Uh, the Instagram name is just Brutally Honest Gamer, all one word. And until next time, I'll see you later.